The movie begins with a group of card game players. A little boy, the son of one of the card players, comes in dressed as Iron Man and offers to protect his mother. However, his mother is in no mood for her little boy's antics and pretty much waves him off. Feeling dismissed, the little boy walks to the balcony of the house, which is a high-rise building, and tries to fly. He falls off the building and heads for the floor, but luckily, an old janitor sees this and goes to help. The old man stretches out his hands, and they grow beyond the length of normal hands, and manages to catch the boy, thus saving his life. His mother soon realizes her carelessness, and quickly rushes downstairs to check on her son. She finds him unharmed, and promises never to allow her addiction to card games get the better of her again. During this time, a number of passerby who saw their entire incident begin to question the old man's superpowers. However, just before they come to any conclusion, the old man wipes off their memories with a little device in his hand. In the next scene, a barbecue meat seller called Fire can be seen attending a group of impatient customers. Due to his stove being unable to heat up their food fast enough, his customers have grown restless and start hurrying Fire to serve them. Having no choice, he secretly puts his hands under the stove and uses his powers to heat up the food and instantly delivers it to them. Next, a lady named Electric who is a dancer at a nightclub can be seen working. However, an obsessed simp starts climbing on stage and tries to get frisky with her. However, she zaps him with her electrical abilities and falls to the ground. I guess being a simp doesn't end well. In the next scene, a woman's car is seen to be stuck in a pothole and cannot get out. A young man, called Iron, who is a security guard, appears and decides to turn one of his hand metal to lift the woman's car single-handedly. After Iron saves her, he, Fire, and Electric receives a call from a man called Eyes, who is revealed to be their leader. He quickly informs them of a group of thieves who are trying to rob something from a nearby museum. Soon, the criminals arrive and after taking out the CCTVs around them, they blow up a manhole cover and proceed to execute their mission further. At this moment, Ice and his group of heroes decide to go after the criminals. However, before they can swoop in, a man in a cheap Superman outfit named Sticky suddenly jumps into the scene. Turns out, he is a new recruit for Eyes team, but wasn't supposed to report to work until the next day. Sticky attacks the thieves with his super sticky saliva and begins to fight them off. The rest of the heroes soon join Sticky and eventually manages to round up all the bad guys using their individual powers. With one criminal still conscious, Eyes decide to use one of his special abilities on him. He starts hypnotizing the bad guy into thinking that he is his father, and the bad guy starts confessing that they work for a Middle Eastern mobster who hired them to steal manhole covers so they can create tanks. Hmm, that doesn't sound like suitable materials to build a tank. After this confession, Ice wipes the memories of the thieves and arrests them. Later on, Sticky is introduced to other members of the superhero squad and is quickly tasked to be a delivery boy in the city. Sticky is confused as to why he needs to work as a courier and Ice tells him that each hero needs to hide their identity at all times and that everyday jobs are the way to go. With that, Sticky begins his new job. In the next scene, a technology company known as Seven is introduced. Seven is currently working on a cloning project where the head of the science team, Dr. Bill, is demonstrating his work to the CEO, Mr. Jang, and his business partner, Mr. Lee. After injecting a special serum, the apple doubles, and Mr. Lee is blown away by the results, so he asks to immediately sign a contract with Seven. Meanwhile, Sticky grows careless with his courier deliveries. He ignores Ai's advice and starts scaling walls to deliver his packages. This shocks a woman and she passes out as she thought she saw a ghost. After learning this, Ai reprimands Sticky for openly using his powers. But Sticky gets mad at Ai and asks for something more meaningful to do. Soon, a young lady, Xiaoya, comes along and asks him to help her deliver some clothes. Sticky immediately gets attracted to her and agrees. While at her house, he gets an urgent call from Nature and asks Xiaoya for the bathroom. While replying to Nature's call, he sees a cockroach and panics, accidentally spilling his sticky piss on the floor and on his hands. His hand also mistakenly touch one of Xiaoya's inner wares and it sticks to his hand. Xiaoya hears this and quickly comes into the bathroom. She then finds her inner wear in Sticky's hand and immediately misunderstands this and starts screaming, calling him a pervert. The poor superhero tries to explain what just happened but this doesn't turn out well and he ends up embarrassing her in front of her live streaming audience and leaves. Looks like he got himself into a sticky situation. 
Back at Seven, Bill tries out his cloning technology on a lab rat. The rat begins to split into two, like the apple from before. Unfortunately, the rat ends up passing. This upsets Mr. Jang, as he believes that it is unethical to clone living things. Bill, however, is unwilling to listen, as he believes his technology will be able to cure terminal diseases, explaining to Jang that cloning organs could save many lives. However, Jang advises him against this and tells Bill to put the experiment on hold. Meanwhile, following the embarrassing episode at his last delivery, Sticky runs to Ice and asks him to help him control his powers. Ice helps out by carrying out a minor surgery on his hands and goes on to teach him how to control his powers better. A few days later, Sticky goes back to his courier job and is tasked to deliver package to Xiaoya. She refuses to engage with him when she opens the door, but he insists that he means no harm and is just here to deliver. Unfortunately, when she opens the package, she finds an inappropriate male doll inside. She becomes angry at Sticky and begins to hit him with the doll. Damn, this guy just can't catch a break. Fortunately for him, Xiaoya's next door neighbor comes out and takes the doll from her stating that the doll is his and starts getting mad at her. After the argument, Xiaoya apologizes to Sticky for attacking him. Using this chance, Sticky explains himself from the incident before. Soon her phone rings and she quickly rushes downstairs. Sticky then follows her and it is revealed that Xiaoya's father is Mr. Jang. Meanwhile, Bill secretly continues his cloning experiments and successfully clones one of the lab rats there. However, he warns his team members not to divulge any of this to Mr. Jang and they agree. In the days that follow, Eyes informs the team about some dangerous criminals within the city. He tasks Sticky to follow the all-star team in their quests. In the following days, the team easily takes down the criminals. However, one night during a stakeout, a criminal follows Xiaoya and grabs her. He then drags her up a high building and tries to get frisky with her. Thankfully, Sticky shows up and binds the criminal with his liquids. However, the criminal pushes Xiaoya off the high building and she begins to fall. Sticky sees this and swings by and saves her. A grateful Xiaoya asks for Sticky's name, but just before she gets to know who her savior is, Eyes appears and wipes her memories away. Eyes then lies to her, saying that they are shooting a movie, and tells her she can't be there. When Xiaoya returns home, someone calls her to watch the evening news. It turns out that a number of CCTV cameras captured the events of her rescue. Soon Sticky becomes a viral sensation in the city, with the citizens calling him the courier. Ice is upset about this recent development and want to punish him. However, his superior decides to take advantage of the publicity stunt and decides to promote the masked superhero. Soon, Sticky starts becoming famous in the country, where he is asked to appear in advertisements, in magazines, and even as a judge on The Voice. However, his fame soon makes Iron jealous and he confronts Sticky. Iron soon grab hold of Sticky, and in order to break free, he shoots his Sticky substances at Iron's mouth. But during the confrontation, Xiaoya, who is now a big fan of the courier, sneaks into the room and accidentally knocks Sticky. He then lands on Iron and they get stuck. When Xiaoya sees this, she assumes that the courier is into men and leaves the scene disappointed. She soon gets to a dock and tears the picture of her beloved hero. Sticky then comes along and tries to explain to her that the courier is not into men. However, she doesn't believe him, so he lies to her by saying he tried confessing his love to the courier, but was rejected by him. This gives Xiaoya hope, and Sticky promises her that the courier will personally meet her and explain everything. Meanwhile at 7, a staff discovers that Bill has continued his experimentation on animals and reports this to Mr. Jang. He becomes furious with Bill and threatens to terminate his appointment. However, Bill is already a few steps ahead of his boss and orders some armed security men to detain Mr. Jang and the staff who snitched on him. Shortly after, he injects the staff with his cloning serum, but the dose proves fatal and the staff ends up passing away. Seeing that the dose doesn't work on the staff, he asks one of his colleagues to copy some data for further examination. However, Jang had already shut off Bill's access to the data before confronting him. This infuriates Bill and he threatens Jang with his serum. However, Jang refuses. This gives Bill no choice and he comes up with an evil plan. Back at home, Xiaoya is waiting for her superhero crush's visit and explanation. Soon, she hears a knock on her door and excitedly goes to check. Unfortunately, they are Bill's men and they abduct her. When Sticky gets to her apartment for his date, he is shocked to find it empty and soon realizes Xiaoya had been taken away. He calls Eyes, who assembles the team to rescue the young lady. While the rest of the team complies, Iron is hesitant. However, Eyes orders him to join the team. Eyes soon tracks down the location of the abducted Xiaoya and tells Sticky to go ahead first while the rest of the team catches up. 
Meanwhile, Xiaoya and her father are being held hostage by Bill, who threatens Zhang by wanting to inject the serum into Xiaoya. Fortunately, Sticky saves her just in the nick of time before anything terrible happens and begins to fight off the armed security men. Soon the rest of the team joins him and they manage to beat all the bad guys and destroy all the data but Bill manages to escape. While Bill is running away, he is soon stopped by Iron and he begins to pummel him. Bill manages to stick a syringe into Iron's neck. The superhero then transform into a metallic being and waste no time in ending the life of the evil scientist. However, he doesn't stop there and soon begins to terrorize and hurt innocent citizens. The rest of the superheroes quickly try to stop him with their individual powers but they are no match for him. Sticky then tries to fight him off but he ends up losing the battle, exposing his face. And just when Iron is about to land the last and fatal blow on Sticky, Xiaoya shoots him from behind. This distracts Iron and he throws the door of a car at her. Sticky manages to save her and during this time she sees his face, recognizing him as the weird delivery man. She expresses her happiness knowing that Sticky is the courier. Ai soon realizes that the odds of defeating the superhero turned villain would be to join forces together instead of fighting him as individuals. Together, they all touch Sticky and he shoots a powerful saliva blast made up of everyone's combined powers. This strips the metallic iron of his powers and Sticky ends the fight by punching him. Ice realizes that Iron is now cured of the effects of the serum. He tells the rest of the team to take him to the hospital for further treatment. As the movie ends, Sticky finds love in the hands of his crush, Xiaoya, and continues to act as a courier. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this recap, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you do not miss our next video.